Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to use a four foot roll of chicken wire to protect your raised beds, your plants actually, from rabbits and in some cases deer. You need a four foot wide roll of chicken wire and you just lay it down next to the raised bed and pull it across. And remember my other videos I said build your beds um, in four foot dimensions. This one's a four foot by eight foot bed. We'll talk about why I have two pieces there in a second and the one in the back is a four foot by four foot framed raised bed. You want seven inch nails at minimum. These are actually gutter nails. I think these are called um, ferrules and I just like the plastic piece because the chicken wire will rest on there. You don't need that. You can take these spikes up to two feet and you can make adjustments. Rabbits are skittish and they're not going to go in here and eat your plants. They want to be able to pop their heads up and look around when they hear sounds or they smell something and they think danger is near. So they're not going to go in here. So this is a great way to protect your early plants from rabbits. And when they get bigger, you're not going to really need this for the rabbits. Now for deer, they're not going to come down and be able to get to your plants. And if you use that two foot spike, you can kind of raise that up and down. They're not going to really put their head under there. So here's uh, the tools you really need is you need a hammer, you need the nail or a spike, and you're going to need some sort of snips to be able to cut the chicken wire. Let's start down here. So again, this is a four foot by four foot raised bed and you just drop four spikes into the sides. You put the chicken wire roll right on that side and then you just pull it over, drop it onto here and you cut across. And again, rabbits will not go in there. You can push it down further if you want to and that will make them even more uncomfortable. This isn't going to work against raccoons or squirrels that are a little more brave, but this will definitely stop rabbits from eating up your leafy greens. Now in this bed, I have leafy greens, so a four foot piece is perfect. I can raise this as they get taller. Coming over here, and I love using this system, which I kind of like to call horizontal, horizontal fencing, with peas because the peas can actually grow right through here. You can leave this in place the whole time and by the time you get through here, rabbits aren't going to mess with them or rabbit isn't going to come on top of there. Now when I first set this up, I set it up for pulling a full eight, pea, eight foot piece across and you can do that and you would put the spikes here and down there. But by doing it in four foot sections here and across and then you measure over four feet and you would put one here and across the other side. I did that because you may not be doing a whole bed of peas. You may be able to, may be able, yeah, you may want to be able to access this side of your raised bed. This is kale. It's going to get a lot taller. So this piece is going to come off. I can remove that and I still have that four foot section here protecting the peas. But you can really set this system up however you want to really help protect your crops from rabbits and when they get to a certain height the rabbits aren't going to really mess with them. It will give you some deer protection. I'm going to go over a lot of different ways that you can use different things to protect your plants from rabbits, from deers and from other ma animals. So please subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some idea how you can easily kind of create this horizontal fence, protect your plants definitely from rabbits and it'll give them a degree of protection from deer. Thanks for watching.